What's going on, world? I uh, wanted to talk today about being starstruck when we see celebrities. Now, this is just not a man issue. This is not a woman issue. It's on both sides to be clear with that to start off. You know, sometimes we as a people lose our mind when we see our favorite celebrity. You know, a lot of people don't know uh, I'm from Covington, Virginia, but I've lived a portion of my life in New York City, uh, Washington Heights area, you know, and uh, my grandfather, he, he drove the subway, retired from the subway, and my mother, she was a bus driver, which actually, you know, in those days, I can only imagine what they're making now, but in, in the 80s, that was, that was a gravy gig, and that's really how I learned New York City, you know, to be truthfully honest with my kids at that time, you know, with my kids was the age that they were, they would not have been doing the things I was doing. Not to say that I was a bad kid, but it's just I was doing a lot of things on my own, like from 10 to 14, running around New York City that I damn sure <laughs> wouldn't be letting my kids do. And in the process of that, I've seen a lot of celebrities. I've seen a lot of people that you see on TV or would call famous. So, you know, I, it's kind of you've seen so many celebrities that you you know you can become starstruck and I'm not saying I'm having my moments we'll get to that but you know I've seen my fair share of celebrities so it really doesn't bother me as much when I see one you know uh, you can <laughs> tell that some people Joe just if they see their favorite person they just lose their minds you know and it's one of those things that golly <laughs> we can be it can be the smartest person the that you know they see that one person that they that's their idol or their star their favorite celebrity all out the window you know <laughs> i have even myself i've been starstruck once you know when i was younger when i was a teenager and stuff when i moved finally uh moved down to covington and by the time i got to college you know but all during that time on saturdays you know all y'all Kids around that age, back in the days, you know, Saturdays, you watch your Saturday cartoons on your whatever network that you're watching. And uh, I used to see this girl on Fox Kids Club. Her name was KK. You know what I'm saying? Fox Kids Club on KK. So fast forward to college, and I was in college, you know, and uh, I'm eating lunch in the cafeteria. And lo and behold, KK goes to the school that I was at. And she wanted to come sit and have lunch with me man i was like wow you kk from fox kids club so for two seconds i was your boy was starstruck i was like wow i can't believe this i was google out for a second two minutes though you know what i mean your boy don't go out like that but uh anyway you know it just goes to show you even <laughs> even me you know for a brief second you know you run into somebody that you've been seeing on tv and you become familiar with you may become starstruck <laughs> you know they had the homecoming that same year uh, one of my girls from my hometown cub uh <laughs> nikki uh we ain't gonna say her last name is uh, people that know know they, uh, they had biz marquee biz marquee came for the homecoming you know and for a lot of people from uh covington at that time you know this for the internet and all that good stuff you know this uh covenant get the information last or whatever the latest trend is they was get it filtered at us last so seeing a celebrity probably was a real big thing for us, uh, uh people in covington because hell <laughs> but hey covenant had menudo shit 88 Dance Party USA, coming to Virginia, represent, stand up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, uh, they come to homecoming, and Biz Marquee was a DJ then. He was on the circuit as a DJ. And when uh, Nikki walked into that club and seen Biz Marquee and live in the flesh, this lady lost her mind. <laughs> she was hooting and hollering when she seen him. You know, so... You know, it happens to the best of us, you know what I'm saying? The where you see your favorite celebrity and you may become starstruck and just lose your ever loving mind. You know. But we all have seen somebody we uh been in awe of of their beauty, you know what I'm saying? As men, you just seen a girl before that you just left you speechless. I can remember one time I was a manager at KFC, you know, and it was busy time. It's beautiful, bro. Walked up. I lost all sense of 
thought and talk. I couldn't even speak for a second there, <laughs> for a couple seconds. But it happens, you know what I'm saying? It happens to the best of us that we become starstruck to where you lose all sense of reality and perception just because you've seen somebody on TV. And I just wanted to uh, just have a cautionary tale of just because you see them on TV there and they portray themselves a certain way doesn't mean they're like that in real life. So keep that in mind uh, about your favorite celebrities. A lot of people find out that their favorite celebrities are assholes anyway. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you've been waiting out in uh, line for about four hours to see your, get a glimpse of your favorite celebrity and they just walk past you and don't say nothing. Or say something rude to you. And you be like, damn. You know, I've seen stories of that that happens to little kids and stuff that they may be looking for waiting on their favorite celebrity to suddenly come out and say something rude and the kid's whole life is fucked up because that one little situation. So don't become starstruck like that, you know. And uh, <laughs> the last uh, thing, you know, even in a local town, I can remember being at a little uh, house party one time and uh, this guy, uh, he kept saying, uh, shit, I'm well known around these parts. Everybody know me. Everybody know me. So hell, I, your boy I think he well known himself around in these parts. So I go up to him and I say, uh, "Hold up, man. Uh, I know pretty much everybody in this town. I don't know you who you. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes when you get older, y'all tell you well, the mind works slow when you get old. Sometimes it really does. But then it just hit me. You know, he was like, uh, I was wrestling and he was a wrestler. He was wrestling in West Virginia at the time. You know what I'm saying? So he showed me his little card. And then it finally hit me. <laughs> I said, oh, man, you Dennis the Christian rapper. <laughs> and for a lot of y'all from company, y'all remember D Dennis the Christian rapper. Uh, <laughs> some of y'all gave that man money. He did a little concert at the Armory. Y'all, uh, shoot, Dennis had Covenant on fire one time. <laughs> so even around our way, we got uh, yeah, local little celebrities that had some people in awestruck. So... You just can't get caught up in the celebrity mix sometimes, you know, y'all, you know, be your, be your own celebrity in your own right, you know, but you, we don't have to idolize these people as the end all be all of what we think and how we carry our life, you know, but I just wanted to come by and holler at y'all on a little quick tip, I had a quick little story to tell about being starstruck and why we shouldn't. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And as always, I'll get back with you. Peace.